Discussions for Learning is an oral vocabulary and language program based on fine art images and real-world photos. The program recognizes that comprehension, beyond decoding, is all about students having the vocabulary and language necessary to comprehend any text. Discussions for Learning is based on two research findings. One, vocabulary is the single biggest predictor of comprehension, and two, oral language experiences are the best way to develop vocabulary. We know that vocabulary is the single biggest predictor of comprehension, but which words are the words that really make a difference? The words that are chosen include high-level vocabulary that can be used across the curriculum, words like inundate, inhabitant, and foliage, and words that generate other words. For example, multicolored leads to words like multitask, multigrain, and multicultural. It just takes three to four days a week, 15 to 20 minutes a day, to make a significant difference in students' vocabulary and comprehension. Each lesson focuses on one digitally projected image. The images alternate between fine art images and real-world photos. Once you've displayed the image, you pick up the spiral-bound teacher's guide and follow the carefully crafted script. There are just two pages for each lesson. The white section includes the core of each lesson. The sidebars include guided discussion tips and extensions for vocabulary. Each new word is introduced in a context sentence. New words are highlighted in yellow. In this case, the word shaft is introduced. The context sentence is shown in boldface and is preceded with a speech balloon. Notice how the teacher introduces the image. The script reads, We've seen pictures of animals that inhabit an aquarium. In this case, both the words inhabit and aquarium are review words. Students are encouraged to repeat the new word in its context sentence. Repeating the word in its context sentence not only helps students learn the new vocabulary word, but helps students learn increasingly complex sentence structures. Here, we've highlighted in teal those words that are previously learned vocabulary words. Notice how the script provides natural, authentic opportunities for reviewing vocabulary. Now let's look at question two in this same lesson. Once again, the previously learned vocabulary is highlighted in teal. Notice the question, why might a rooster be inside? Each lesson includes several open-ended guided discussion questions that are designed to engage and challenge your least and most advanced students. The guided discussion tips in the sidebars provide research-based support for helping teachers lead academically productive discussions that focus on higher order thinking and equitable participation among all students. Each lesson ends with a fast-paced, quick question review. This slide highlights the six new words in yellow and the previously learned vocabulary words in teal. This ongoing informal assessment includes one question for each new vocabulary word. In this lesson, students learned six new words highlighted in yellow and reviewed in context 28 previously learned vocabulary words. Once again, new vocabulary is highlighted in yellow and previously learned vocabulary is highlighted in teal. The carefully crafted scripts help teachers to introduce each new word in a strong context sentence and ensure ongoing review of previously learned vocabulary. There are four levels, A through D. The levels are designed for grades K through three. However, you can easily use the program in grades four through six, as both the vocabulary and the images are sophisticated enough for the intermediate grades. The components include 
the CD with 48 fine art images and 48 real world photos. There are four spiral bound teacher's guides, one for each of the four themes at each level. The four themes in each level are designed to tie in to science and social studies curriculum. Things we see and use links to the study of objects and matter. Our living world connects to the study of flora, fauna, and nature. Places and spaces connects to the study of neighborhoods, habitats, ecosystems, and biomes. And our changing world links to changes in nature and neighborhoods. Here, students discuss Our Changing World with an artwork from an Indian artist from the 1700s. Through this image from Level B, students learn the words gust, refuge, shawl, flee, seek, and ominous. Note that in the actual program, the vocabulary words and the level are not written on the image, as the focus is on oral vocabulary the best way to accelerate vocabulary. Each fine art image is always followed by a real world photo. Here, students follow the artwork of the Indian woman seeking refuge from a storm with an image of a rainbow over Miami Beach following a downpour. Discussions for Learning has been tested in a rigorous scientific test. The comprehensive study showed statistically significant growth by students using the program in four areas. General vocabulary knowledge, comprehension of fiction and nonfiction, and using context clues to figure out the meaning of new and challenging words. You can read more about the actual research study on our website, discussionsforlearning.com. Let's look at some of the images along with the accompanying vocabulary words that are included in the program. Remember that the actual words are not on the images as the focus is on the natural acquisition of oral language. The fine art images expose students to master artists, including such well-known artists as Vincent van Gogh, Monet, Renoir, Romar Bearden, Georgia O'Keeffe, and Pablo Picasso. Here is a Mary Cassatt from Level A. In Level A, there are four new vocabulary words introduced in each lesson. Levels B through D introduce six new words per lesson. Jacob Lawrence and Diego Rivera. What a great way to remember the word colossal. This truly is a colossal head. The fine art includes artworks from around the globe and across time, including Ancient Egypt. What a great way to remember the words formal procession. This Mexican artist. This chest plaque from ancient Panama. Great for using the words fangs, grimace, snarl, terrify, ferocious, and symmetrical. This Japanese kimono that includes a meandering river. And there are artworks from Native American artists from across North, Central, and South America. The real world photos include iconic images from across the USA, including this image from Death Valley, California, Great for discussing the undulating sand dunes. This natural Rainbow Bridge National Monument in Utah provides a springboard for discussing erosion. And the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. The real world photos include dramatic images from around the world, such as this image of the Great Wall of China, as students discuss this contemporary image of a boy on an ancient structure. Cattle stranded on a strip in the Amazon in Bolivia following a deluge of rain. 
and how the nomadic people in Siberia persevere and survive the severe cold. Students will see people at work and play from across the USA and around the world, including construction workers building a skyscraper, cricket players in Zimbabwe, a great way to compare cricket to baseball while practicing the words similar and dissimilar. Finally, students will discuss brilliant images of animals from a variety of habitats, including this sea otter with her newborn pup in the Gulf of Alaska. Students discuss how the mother sea otter nurtures her pup. And peafowl in courtship display as students discuss the differences between the male and the female. Visit discussionsforlearning.com to learn much more. Here you can read about the research, view the vocabulary lists for each level, and discover how the vocabulary words were chosen. Try out four weeks of lessons for free. You'll be amazed at how easily your students will learn the high-level vocabulary and how engaged all of your students will be. The Level B Sampler includes four weeks of lessons from Level B Theme 1. You'll also receive a sample CD with the accompanying images for each lesson. The Level B Sampler can be used to pilot any grade, including kindergarten. Discussions for Learning, an oral vocabulary and language program based on fine art images and real-world photos.